Oh, Deb is so great. She has an answer for everything. What makes it cool is she was an electrician for so many years. Because I can't assume you know, right? By Deb Tewa's book, there's no such thing as common sense. Don't assume anything, she says. So do it again. Check and double check. So just out of practice and humor me, do it redundantly. At first, she can be very intimidating. She's uh, strict. She's by the book. Uh, she's a true professional. And be redundant with your... This is a three-day orientation to show new installers what it takes to build an off-grid solar energy array from the ground up. As we collect the sunlight from our modules. They go into our charge controller. They charge the batteries. Batteries in turn go back to the inverter and the inverter creates alternating current AC for the home. I think this is pretty nice how they're doing this program and they're giving us a lot of hands-on training instead of just a lot of book work. This will have it positive. Like putting together a giant puzzle, they go piece by piece. A heavy steel skid holds a large case of batteries and six photovoltaic modules. Wiring everything together is tedious, connecting components as well as electrical concepts. So one string will go in here with that fitting on there. I think I like to bridge theory. Does that make sense? Or so when I'm teaching math, it's applied math, bridging that theory. So we're not like solving for n or x. Open. These are the actual values we work out, uh, use out in the field. Many of us are hands-on learners. Um, so when I do my t PowerPoint, I have minimal text. Hold on, hold on. PPE and JHA, right? Deb's a boss lady, man. She's awesome. I really like Deb. She's a great instructor. She's very fun to work with. She's very stern and very proud of what she does with her with her work. So she takes pride in it. And that gives me pride in what I'm what I'm trying to do. Deb Tewa grew up on the Hopi reservation without electricity or running water. Here and on the Navajo Nation next door, hundreds, if not thousands, of homes still don't have power. It's a lot of work, but when you turn on the light and just just that expression, the elation from people, which is undescribable. She's such a blessing to Hopi and Navajo and tribal communities. One, being like in this industry where not many Native people were from like 30 years ago. And then on top of that, like not many women have been. And I asked her this question and she like, it didn't, it didn't face her. She was there to learn something and she was there to do something. And that's inspiring to me. Her on the safety side. Unfazed and matter of fact, Tewa stays focused on the job at hand. Her career spans grassroots solar installation, Sandia National Labs, and state government. And this electrician by training makes many moving parts work as one. Out of my 30 years, I've, I think once folks understand what that technology is, the teamwork, communication, uh, safety, I mean, it's the same thing we're achieving. So then gender just kind of goes out the window because I knew what I needed to do. On this day, Tewa manages two cohorts recruited by her organization, Native Renewables. So I want to see some wire on top. I like the team, and I think it's really great that they started from where we started. I'm nice and level. They didn't know how to do all of this, just like how we didn't know. But now they're training us, they're teaching us what they know. Right there, close it. Showing them the ropes and guiding them, training them. See that? It just slid right off. Sharing that knowledge of solar, you know. Pe when people learn about what we're doing, they, they get interested and they ask questions. I think your instructions are pretty clear. Communication and feedback flow between the groups at the leader's insistence. I will be probably making mistakes and stuff like that. And if I do, please, please correct me. I won't be offended. Bill's trust because they're involved and I'm not telling them what to do. Not too tight. Again. After all the checks and double checks, it's time to flip the switch. Coming to life. This three. array will power a household refrigerator and more for a good part of a day. When people who I see have been working so hard in an industry for so long get recognized because she deserves it and she's so humble, that's the other thing. If you don't know Deb, she's really humble. Turn them on one at a time. And For Deb Tewa, it's another job done, but it's the process that she really loves most. I remember when I was uh, maybe about five years old, my dad bought me a bicycle. Rather than riding it in the village, I put it on its 
seat and the handlebars and I just was turning the <laughs> the pedal and I saw these marbles in their bearings and I'm like whoa I was just fascinated by that I don't even remember riding that bicycle <laughs> it was just like amazing so so some people have the memory the thrill of riding yeah you have the thrill of how does this work yeah exactly yeah so you're kind of an oddball I am and I I'm unique <laughs> and I say it with pride. <laughs>